My point is, is that this is so easy to pick a theme and then use that theme to communicate what you want to communicate in your infographic. Now, once you're done with your infographic, you have an option here. First of all, you can save your infographic, actually give it a title. I'm going to overwrite this because I've already saved it, but you can just click save and it'll actually save it. And then what you can do is you can actually download it. Now you can download this as an image. You can download this as HTML, okay? So that you can put it on your website or you can download, download the raw data. And so if you want just the basics, you'd select the image itself, okay? And it's gonna ask you if you want to watermark in the footer. Now, one of the great things about the pro version is you don't have to put their watermark on the actual graphic so no one will know. You didn't pay $1,500 for this infographic or have some designer create it for you. So put no, and then are you sure you wanna save this image? Yes, it's going to open up and give you an opportunity to actually name the image and, and determine where you want to save it. And of course you can click save. And I'm just going to show you here the downloaded image so that you can see it. That's the entire image. Now, of course, at the bottom, you could actually put your logo here, obviously your name and your name of your company or website there. And so this lays out the four steps to make your marketing work. Now, let me give you some ideas about how you could actually put infographics to work for you in a unique way. So I just showed you the infographic that I created, okay? And so that infographic had to do with sharing four steps. Now, let's say that I was creating a course or I had an ebook or something, and let me go back to this so I can show you the example here. Okay, get my mouse to work again. Okay, so you see this example. You could basically take this infographic and make it a supplement to an article, obviously putting on your blog, but you could also make it a supplement to an information product or, for example, an ebook that you were creating. So throughout your ebook, chances are there's three of something or there's five of something. And you could represent that as an infographic, not just as the words. Okay, here's something else. Right now I'm making a screencast video. So what you see on the screen is actually me making a video and talking into a microphone. Well, what you could do is you could actually position your graphic on the screen. Okay, blow it up. Not too much so it gets blurred. Okay, but basically what you could do is turn on your screen capture, okay, and actually record a video of you explaining this process of the infographic and then going down and talking about each specific step. So you could actually use that and create a video based on it, okay? So something else that you could do, and this is something I'm really excited about and I'm actually starting to experiment with it, and this is a big idea. And that is using infographics as a kind of graphical sales letter. So for example, I noticed this startup pitch here. I'll click on this, okay? And I'll replace the current theme. It loads all the graphics. And does this look familiar? This almost looks like a sales letter. So imagine this. You could put your headline for your information product or whatever you're offering, a description. You can place an image. You can get a cool 3D image at ecoverapp.com. Then you can take this information and talk about the benefit of each of the items. Now, again, you can change all of this so it doesn't have to say our team. It could say the benefits. Okay, and then what you could do is illustrate the benefits in some way using graphics here. Okay, you can give them some options or you can do away with this altogether and just put type here. And now you can give them the thumbs up, time to order. You could get rid of this, give them the order information and then summarize the key points for action. And if you were gonna put this on your website, you would simply make the entire image clickable. So when they click, 
they go to your PayPal website to be able to pay for the product and download it. And you might put a, a graphical button here somewhere. But anyway, that's a completely unique way of thinking about this idea of using infographics. Really, the possibilities are unlimited here. I highly recommend this site. Oops, I told you I was going to show you how to save 62% or how to get a whole year of picture chart for just $49. You've heard about this website and I've referred you to it and recommended it in the past. It's called AppSumo. I've provided a link under this video. And as you can see, time is running out. Just 21 hours left, which is why I'm recording this video at two o'clock in the morning, because this is a really good deal. $49 and you'll get an entire year of access. Even if you only create one infographic in the entire year, and I hope you'll do more, but even if you only do one, this pays for itself. So go check this out. I provided the link under this video and at the end of the video, this is my Tech Tuesday pick of the week. It's called PictoChart. It's great, wow, infographics, fast, easy, intuitive. Go get it. I'm Ramon Williamson. I'll see you in the next video.